Hello there. It is Thursday, 32620. This is your assignment. Simple 3D form rectangular prism like object. Don't forget, if I use this card, I want you to pause the video and continue drawing. Or um, you can also do that whenever I'm not using the card, and whenever you feel like you need to. All right, good afternoon. I want to show you my 3D cylinder I finished. So here's my roll of toilet paper, finished adding shading, and um, I think it looks pretty three-dimensional. Pretty happy with that. I'd love to have a whole bunch of that right now. Really, we have enough. Hope you do too. So we're going to be drawing rectangular prisms today. <clears throat> Here's an example of a rectangular prism in one of my drawings. So this shelf, it's like a rectangle, but three-dimensional version of one, right? So it's a 3D form. It's called a rectangular prism. I want you to look around your house and find a 3D <clears throat> version of a rectangle or a rectangular prism-like object to draw. Here's some examples. Lots of things from your pantry are going to be rectangular prisms, okay? There's one, there's another one. Rectangular prism. It's kind of hard to see, it's so close to you. Here's a small one. Rectangular prism. And I want you to place it, ooh, look at that shadow, that is so cool. That would be so tricky to draw. Um, challenge. I want you to place your rectangular prism object someplace that casts a good shadow, an interesting shadow. There's another rectangular prism. <clears throat> okay, rectangular prism. I think this is the one I'm going to draw because it's kind of a nice size. And I've got a position where I can see a good cast shadow coming from it. Um, something else that's a rectangular prism that you probably eat all the time. Cereal. Alright, so I'm drawing my rectangular prism, you're gonna draw yours, and make sure you stop the video when you need to. And then the goal is to start adding some shading to it, okay? To make it look really three-dimensional by adding the, the shading in our dark, medium, and light values. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I guess the beginning of mine is gonna look kind of like this. Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism like object. Okay. Feel free to pause this video now if you need to go and select your object to draw. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing mine. I think this would be a good place to start. Okay, I'm going to try to draw a little smaller this time so that... It takes a little bit less time. That off real quick. And you know, there's no perfect place to start. You can start drawing yours wherever you would like to. You could draw the, the front face of it or top or side, whatever is convenient for you. And we want the top, in, in the case of, no, I want the side of mine to be a little thinner. Because of the way mine's positioned, the top surface of it looks a little thicker than the side, even though they're probably the same in, in real life. The way that it's positioned from this angle, from this perspective, 
makes this side look a little thinner. All right, so maybe a little thicker. Sometimes you just have to work out problems. I hope you guys are doing well and you've been getting some practice drawing while you're out. And those of you that have sent emails showing me what you've created, thank you so much. I love looking at those and I would love to see more. Also, you can, um, well, you can join me any Tuesday or Thursday from, um, for fifth grade, I believe it's from 1120 to 1150 for a Canvas conference. I'll just be on there every Tuesday and Thursday from 1120 to 1150 for fifth graders. You can join in and say hi, tell me some cool ideas you have, um, anything like that. Ask me questions, questions, good time for questions. For sixth grade, it's going to be every Tuesday and Thursday from 12 o'clock to 1230. Okay, so um, you just go into Canvas and click on conference and then join. It's pretty simple. All right, so there's my basic, basic uh, rectangular prism. I'm going to start drawing my cast shadow now. Mine's really interesting. The, the light in this room is coming from above and behind this object. So it's making this shadow that is coming out in front. And it's probably going to go off my page and maybe off the screen. That's okay. And there are multiple shadows coming from it. It's kind of cool. Love those. I was able to capture those in my last drawing. If you see multiple shadows, you should definitely try to capture them in your drawing. It gives you really good practice um, creating dark, well, different values of shading, dark, medium, and light. I'm going to actually make this a little shorter. And then I've got these other lighter shadows that are coming from different other other light sources like the window, my kitchen. I'm in a room near my kitchen. The doorway that opens into this room. Something like this. Sometimes multiple shadows gets a little confusing to draw, but you can kind of draw what you think you're seeing if you're not sure. The parts of these shadows fade away kind of very, very, very softly and get really light and then dark in other, in other places, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly where they're beginning and ending sometimes. I think that's fascinating, personally. Okay, so going to finish this one up and then do another one here, really close to this first edge. Comes way out here, maybe. Canvas in the way. Okay. And then I'm seeing one like over here. Cool. All right. So that's my rectangular prism. Prism. Um, the top of mine is going to be really light because my light source is from above. And there's actually this division here. This part is. This part here is lighter. This part's a little bit darker. And my left side is a little bit darker than the top. So I know this is where I'm gonna add some light shading. And then the front is gonna get the darkest shading because of my light source being above and behind. So I'm gonna stop here. I want you to finish drawing your three-dimensional form, rectangular prism-like object that you find at your house, or you can draw along with me, draw this one, and practice shading it next time. But make sure you choose your object and draw it this time. All you need to do is 20 minutes of work on this, okay? Um, have a good day, and I'll 
catch up with you tomorrow.